In our quest to understand our past, we've often stumbled upon mysteries that tantalize and baffle us in equal measure. Among these are the legends of lost civilizations, submerged under the sea, consumed by the earth or vanished into thin air. The city of Atlantis is perhaps the most famous, its story echoing through the ages, stirring up a sense of wonder and disbelief. But Atlantis is not alone in this pantheon of lost worlds. Today, we are going to explore another such enigma, Lemuria. In the 19th century, when scientific exploration was taking giant strides, the world was enthralled by the idea of lost continents. The socio-cultural milieu of the time, a blend of curiosity and romanticism, birthed theories about these lost lands. Lemuria, much like Atlantis, was believed to be a bridge, not just a land bridge for migrating species, but a bridge between our known history and the unfathomable depths of the prehistoric world. This fascination with lost continents was not merely a scientific curiosity, it was a reflection of a broader cultural fascination with the unknown, the other, and the possibilities of lost wisdom and advanced ancient civilizations. As we delve deeper into the proposal of Lemuria, remember that it's not just about a lost land, but a lost chapter of our own story, waiting to be rediscovered. As we journey back to the 19th century, we find ourselves in the midst of a scientific revolution. Theories of evolution and biogeography were being hotly debated, and these formed the backdrop against which the idea of Lemuria was proposed. Charles Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection had just been published, radically altering our understanding of life on Earth. Meanwhile, Alfred Russell Wallace, another pioneering naturalist, was developing his own theory of biogeography, studying how species were distributed across the globe. These foundational theories provided the basis for Philip Sclater's hypothesis of Lemuria. Sclater, a noted zoologist, used these theories to explain the peculiar distribution of lemurs across India, Madagascar and Africa. But not all scientists of the time agreed with the existence of Lemuria. Renowned geologist Charles Lyell, for instance, was skeptical of the idea, arguing that geological evidence did not support the existence of a submerged continent. These debates were not just about Lemuria, but about how we understood our world and our place in it. They were a testament to the power of science, to challenge, to question, and to continually seek out the truth. As we delve deeper into the proposal of Lemuria, remember that it was born out of this vibrant scientific landscape, a testament to our enduring quest to unravel the mysteries of our world. As we delve deeper into the mystical realm of Lemuria, we enter a world of esoteric teachings and spiritual legacies. Helena Petrovna Blavatsky, a prominent figure in the theosophical movement of the 19th century, played a significant role in amplifying and expanding upon the concept of Lemuria. In her seminal work, The Secret Doctrine, Blavatsky described Lemuria as a land inhabited by a spiritually advanced, yet physically giant race. These Lemurians, she claimed, possessed psychic abilities and were able to control natural forces. According to Blavatsky, Lemuria was a spiritual paradise, a land of wisdom and harmony that existed hundreds of thousands of years ago, long before our known history. This spiritual depiction of Lemuria had a profound impact on subsequent spiritual movements. Today, the concept of Lemuria continues to inspire New Age practitioners who believe in the existence of this ancient enlightened civilization and its enduring spiritual wisdom. Many of these practitioners claim to channel the wisdom of the Lemurians, offering guidance on matters of personal growth and spiritual development. The spiritual legacy of Lemuria, whether myth or reality, continues to resonate, influencing contemporary spiritual communities and practices worldwide. As we move forward, keep in mind the mystic allure of this lost land, an allure that has captivated the human imagination for centuries. As we navigate through the narrative of Lemuria, we encounter a myriad of interpretations and representations across different forms of media. Literature has been a fertile ground for the exploration of the mythical continent. Notable authors such as H.P. Lovecraft and Lynn Carter have incorporated Lemuria into their works, often as a lost utopia or a realm of forbidden knowledge. Lovecraft, in his Cthulhu mythos, portrays Lemuria as a precursor to Atlantis inhabited by a race of beings known as the Elder Things. In Lynn Carter's Thongor series, Lemuria is depicted as a prehistoric kingdom filled with fantastical creatures and mighty heroes. These narratives not only entertain, 
but also contribute to the mythos of Lemuria, shaping our understanding of this lost world. Lemuria has also found its way into the world of cinema and video games. Films like Atlantis, The Lost Empire and Lemuria Lost in Space use Lemurian lore as a backdrop for their narratives, presenting the continent as a place of mystery and adventure. In the realm of video games, Final Fantasy and Lost Eden feature Lemuria as a forgotten land with advanced technology. These portrayals influence our perception of Lemuria, often emphasising its mystical and adventurous facets. They invite us to imagine what this lost civilization might have been like, further fueling our fascination with the unknown and the allure of lost worlds. Through these various representations, the tale of Lemuria continues to thrive, shaping and reshaping our collective imagination. As our exploration into the enigma of Lemuria continues, it's time we delve into the scientific aspects that both supported and challenged its existence. The emergence of the theory of plate tectonics in the 20th century provided a more natural explanation for the phenomena Lemuria was hypothesized to explain. According to this theory, the Earth's crust is divided into large plates that float on the semi-fluid layer underneath. These plates move and interact, leading to continental drift, earthquakes and the creation of mountain ranges. This explained the distribution of similar animal species across different continents. These species, it was proposed, had once lived on a single landmass that later split apart and drifted due to tectonic activity. This provided a solid foundation for understanding our planet's geological history without the need for a lost continent like Lemuria. On the archaeological front, the lack of physical evidence for Lemuria has been a significant challenge. Despite extensive underwater explorations and geological surveys, no trace of an ancient sunken civilization fitting the description of Lemuria has been found. Modern archaeology interprets evidence of ancient civilizations using a rigorous scientific methodology. It relies on tangible artifacts, structures, and other physical remnants left behind by ancient societies. In the case of Lemuria, the absence of such evidence has led many to conclude that it was more a product of speculation and mythology rather than a historical reality. This lack of archaeological evidence has further solidified the scientific consensus that Lemuria, as conceived in the 19th century, simply did not exist. However, the mystery and allure of Lemuria continue to persist, a testament to the power of stories and the human fascination with the unknown. As we move forward, we must remember that while science often dispels myths, it also uncovers new mysteries waiting to be explored. As our journey into the enigma of Lemuria deepens, let's take a detour to explore the global myths of lost lands and continents. From Atlantis in the west to Mu in the east, the idea of submerged ancient civilizations is a universal theme that echoes across cultures. Atlantis, like Lemuria, was said to be home to an advanced civilization that vanished beneath the waves. Mu, a proposed lost continent in the Pacific, shares similarities with Lemuria in its supposed location and spiritual significance. The narratives surrounding these lost lands often share common themes, advanced ancient civilizations, cataclysmic disasters, and profound spiritual wisdom. Despite the differences in their geographical locations and cultural contexts, these myths all speak to a deep-seated human fascination with the idea of a golden age in the distant past, now lost but not forgotten. From a psychological perspective, these myths may reflect our collective anxiety about the impermanence of our civilizations and the transient nature of human achievements. They also tap into our longing for a lost paradise, a yearning for spiritual fulfillment that our modern world often fails to satisfy. Sociologically, these myths serve as cautionary tales, warning us about the potential consequences of hubris greed and disregard for nature. They remind us of the fragility of our existence and our responsibility towards the planet we inhabit. Whether they are real or imagined, these tales of lost lands stir our imagination and continue to captivate us, underlining the enduring allure of the unknown and the unexplored. As we return to our exploration of Lemuria, let's keep in mind the universal themes and enduring human fascination that give life to such myths. In this scene, we explore the multifaceted impact of Lemuria on contemporary culture, spirituality and science. The concept of Lemuria has permeated various aspects of our society, influencing art, literature and spiritual beliefs. It has served as a backdrop for utopian literature and speculative fiction, 
offering a canvas for authors to paint their visions of a perfect society or explore alternative historical timelines. Voiceover, from the works of H.P. Lovecraft to the graphic novels of Alan Moore, Lemuria has been a source of inspiration for countless storytellers. Its rich lore feeds into the human fascination with lost worlds, providing a fertile ground for imaginative narratives. The lost continent of Lemuria, with its advanced civilization and alleged spiritual wisdom, has also influenced a wide range of spiritual beliefs. It has been embraced by theosophists, who view it as the spiritual home of humanity, and by New Age practitioners, who see it as a symbol of human potential and spiritual evolution. In parallel, Lemuria has also had a significant impact on environmentalism. The myth of a lost continent, submerged due to its inhabitants' disregard for nature, serves as a powerful, cautionary tale. It underscores the urgent need for sustainable living and respect for the Earth, reinforcing messages at the heart of environmental activism. But the influence of Lemuria extends beyond the cultural and spiritual realms. The myth of this lost continent has also spurred scientific curiosity and exploration. Despite its origins in pseudoscience, the quest for Lemuria has led to genuine discoveries about the Earth's past. It has prompted scientists to investigate continental drift, leading to the development of the theory of plate tectonics. The enigma of Lemuria has also fueled archaeological expeditions and underwater explorations, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the ancient world. As we delve further into the history and mythology of Lemuria, let's remember that this lost continent, whether real or imagined, has left an indelible mark on our culture, our spirituality and our scientific pursuits. In this scene, we reflect on the fascinating journey of Lemuria from scientific hypothesis to a symbol in our cultural and spiritual consciousness. Voiceover, Lemuria began as a scientific proposal, a possible solution to the puzzle of species distribution. It was a testament to the power of scientific curiosity, a concept born from the desire to make sense of the natural world. However, as the scientific community moved on, Lemuria found a new home in the human imagination. It became a myth, a lost paradise, and a spiritual homeland. It inspired countless stories and spiritual practices. It served as a cautionary tale about the consequences of disregarding nature and as a symbol of human potential and spiritual evolution. So, what does the journey of Lemuria tell us about ourselves? Perhaps it speaks to our innate desire to explore, to seek answers, and to make sense of the world around us. It might also reflect our capacity for imagination, our ability to create rich narratives and symbols from scientific ideas. But perhaps most importantly, it highlights the intricate relationship between science and myth, between what we know and what we imagine. As we continue our exploration of Lemuria, let's ponder on these thoughts. How does the human mind transform scientific concepts into cultural symbols? What does the enduring fascination with Lemuria reveal about our collective consciousness? Our story begins in the 19th century when zoologists like Philip Sclater proposed the existence of Lemuria to explain the puzzling distribution of certain animal species across India, Madagascar and Africa. This lost land was believed to have once bridged these regions, allowing species to migrate across vast distances. The proposed location of Lemuria and the species distribution that led to its hypothesis can be seen in maps and illustrations from the era. However, Lemuria didn't remain a mere scientific hypothesis for long. It soon transitioned into a component of theosophical beliefs and New Age spirituality. The lost continent was imagined as a paradise, home to an advanced civilization. Artwork, theosophical texts and cultural representations offer a glimpse into how Lemuria and its inhabitants were envisioned. But what does modern science have to say about Lemuria? The advent of the theory of continental drift and plate tectonics debunked the need for a land bridge like Lemuria, providing a more plausible explanation for the distribution of species. Animations depicting continental drift and plate tectonics contrast sharply with the static model that led to the Lemuria hypothesis. Despite being debunked scientifically, Lemuria continues to leave its mark on literature, esoteric beliefs and popular culture. It has been referenced in novels, movies and video games and continues to inspire the human imagination. Examples of Lemuria's influence in modern media highlight its enduring appeal and the various ways it has been reimagined. In conclusion, the journey of Lemuria from a scientific theory to a mythological paradise 
underscores our fascination with lost civilizations and the unknown. We encourage you to explore more about ancient myths, lost civilizations, and the ways in which they continue to captivate our imagination. The tale of Lemuria serves as a reminder of our perpetual quest to unravel the mysteries of our world.